Okay, hi everyone. In this quick tutorial um, video, we want to show you how you work with Teachable Machines, which is a machine learning website that trains models um, made by Google. The um, ops and cables have been contributed by our user Mick. Thanks for that. We're really excited um, and we want to show you around a bit. So let's go. Yeah, so, so this is the website Teachable Machine. Uh, and on this web page, you can also train your uh, machine learning models. So a model is like information you have to create and this you put into the cables ops for them to work with some images. And we want to create like a little uh, application uh, application that detects if I wear a mask or if I don't wear a mask. So um, this is something you can do very easily with a teachable machine. And for this, um, we, we are on this website and we, we select new project and we select image project. You can also use audio project to detect like voices or uh, noises or something and post project where you get a skeleton, um, but we are using the image project. So there are also three different ops in cables that work with those different projects, but we will just uh, try out the image project for now. Um, <clears throat> so here you can record samples, sample images, um, and we can, we, we will create one, which is called, uh, without mask. And I will just use my webcam to record some images. So I will click this and record images without me wearing a mask basically. So just try to do some images that look different and like also with eyes closed and everything. So now we have 205 sample images recorded. And now I will record, so now we will create this class with mask um, and do the same with this one, but with a mask on. So this will then be used to train the um, the network, the model basically, and we'll um, later on show you how to download this um, and uh, use it in cables patches. So now we're doing the same stuff that we did before, um, just with a mask on, so the network can learn the differences between these images. Once you did this, um, we now have 163 image samples with mask and something around 200 um, without a mask. And now you can click train model um, and wait. It's actually really quick. Um, and um, yeah, this will now train your model. Um, and you can then later on preview and test it and it will um, show you probabilities that we then later use in cables to do whatever you want yeah now we are in this preview and you can see it says uh, i'm without a mask and when i put this on you see it's with mask so and this works really well so also this works kind of well but not really but probably because this mask is black so we will export this model to use it in cables. So you have to click export model and then you have to click upload my model. So this uploads your model to uh, the Teachable Machine database. And now we have this shareable link generated. So we can copy this link and we can go um, in our cables patch and we create a cables patch from zero. And um, I will just do that. Um, so I will create a main loop. And I will create a full screen rectangle because I first want to show my webcam. So I use the webcam text job. So now you see um, my webcam image here. And now we search for teachable. And then you see those three uh, ops I, I talked about. So we will select the image classifier because we did an image project on teachable machines. All the projects on teachable machines basically work the same. So the workflow would be the same for the audio classifier, post detection, um, roughly the same. Just try them. Yeah. So I select this and add it. And now um, you see there's an input for model URL. So you can just paste now the URL that you got from Teachable Machines. You can also download that file and upload it into your cables patch if you want. 
um, but this way is the fastest. So now I have to connect it to the main loop. And now it's already, um, uh, ah, now it needs uh, the webcam texture needs to be connected to this up for it to work. So like this. And now it's already working. So the output of this op, the, the interesting output is this array output here. So we can click the little uh, magnifier to see what's in this array. So we see it's an array of two um, object with the information in there. So we see um, two numbers now. So I just want like the first object and from this the uh, parameter, the, the property probability. So let's do this. Array get object. So we want object at index zero. So the first one. And from this, we want object get number. And the key is probability. And now you see we have, uh, we get this number here and it's changed. Uh, on what I do. So you see when I put the mask on, it goes down to zero. Um, so now we can do something like if, uh, let's say this value is greater than 0 0.5. Which is basically how sure Teachable Machines is that you're, in our case, are yeah. not wearing a mask. Yeah, good one. So, yeah. Um, so then I want to display a text. And now you see the text is already appearing when I'm not wearing a mask. And when I wear it, then it goes away. So we just want to. Uh... <laughs> you still have this on completion, right? <laughs> so we just want it like this and red. So there's no misunderstanding. And now it says wear a mask. And when I'm wearing a mask, it goes away. Nice. There you have it. Like mask warning recognition system <laughs> made in cables in like five minutes using teachable machines. Yeah. Um, it's really awesome. And we are really looking forward to what uh, our users like doing with this and I think there's a lot of possibilities and a lot of cool cases and I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, me too. So have fun playing around with it. Do play around with it and share whatever you created. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye.